my name is Dr. Louisa, and no, this is not to be Tuesdays. Um, today I'll be answering a few questions on this special Mother's Day edition. So stay tuned. Thankfully, um, both pregnancies were pretty um, normal for me. I didn't have complications. I didn't have much of the complaints that most people would have during pregnancy. Morning sickness, not really. I just really had that uncomfortable taste, that metallic taste in my mouth in the first trimester that I didn't like. But um, other than that, I think my pregnancies were fine. I only threw up once um, for my second um, pregnancy, which was for my son. Just one random morning I threw up. And besides that, everything else was fine. My first baby, my bump, my baby bump was not too big. It was actually very small, so most people didn't notice I was pregnant. Um, yeah, so I think I had some problem-free pregnancies so far. Thank God. I craved mangoes a lot. I remember I used to eat a lot of mangoes, so everybody in my house used to laugh at me because there will be mangoes, a, a, a bucket full of mangoes, and then the next minute it's all finished because I ate them all. I used to crave mangoes a lot. And another weird thing was that during my pregnancy for both my son and my daughter, I, for some reason, became allergic to kinky. When I'm not pregnant, I eat kinky and I'm fine. But when I'm pregnant and I eat kinky, my lips get swollen. So that was another weird thing. Thankfully not, but um, postpartum depression is real. A lot of women go through it. It is not strange. It is something that happens. And so um, I guess we have to educate more and more women about what it is so that they can identify um, what it is when it, it does happen to them. Um, I'll divide that into two. We have um, a responsibility as health professionals, like myself and my other colleague friends, um, the gynees, even just general physicians, to educate the general public on what postpartum depression is, not just expectant mothers, so that um, the partners of expectant mothers and then the family, people who are around them are aware of what the symptoms are so that they can identify it if there's a mother who's going through postpartum depression and then they can assist. And I think as women as well, um, expectant mothers, um, mothers who have already had kids and even just not generally women should um, read a lot about pregnancy before they get pregnant and even while they're pregnant so that they can um, learn some of these things. Wow, that's a compliment. Thank you. Um, how did I get my body back? I don't think I've got my body back. Um, I still have some, some few pounds to shed to get to my pre-baby body, but I'm still loving my body as it is now and I'm rocking it very well. But what helped me to um, lose um, a bit of my baby weight was um, I tried a lot of things. Some of them didn't work, some diets and exercise because they were on and off. But what actually helped me were these um, gummies. Recently, I even posted it on my Instagram page called Slim Me Gummies. They're these apple cider vinegar gummies that has beetroot and things like that. A friend of mine introduced me to it and when I, when I started taking it, I saw the weight actually um, just shed off. So that's what helped me. Not really because um, I think I'm surrounded with um, so many strong women that looking up to them like my mother, my aunts and you know family, friends. Um, I just really saw how they were able to juggle both um, their careers and motherhood and so that kind of gave me some um, faith in myself that I could do it too so I don't think I really saw it as a um, difficult task. I think it all comes down to planning. 
um, somebody who likes to plan ahead so I think that has helped me I actually am very deliberate in creating time for different things so um, creating time for my work that has to be completed by a certain time and then creating time for my kids my husband my home so I think it's just being deliberate about um, making the time and um, making it count actually I don't know they're just full of surprises both of them so I guess they're just being themselves yes to some extent but um, each person has a different personality each of us has different personalities um, we have external factors like environmental factors that kind of add up to what our personality is but we also have our inborn personalities that we came to this world with so parenting is a contributing factor but it doesn't um, dictate how the child would be yes very very supportive and i can't um, be more grateful to god um, for that because i always tell um, the partners of expecting mothers that you have a big task um, to keep her motivated from the time she gets pregnant to the time she becomes a mother and even as she's a mother because um, she's doing all the work anyway so <laughs> the little you can do is to support her with your words with your time with your um, energy you know just make her feel appreciated all the time and that goes a really long way just knowing that you are appreciated that um, what you're doing is impactful I think that that really goes a long way so I always tell um, my male friends whose wives I expect and the things like that that you don't underestimate the power of your words because I remember for myself um, when I went into labor, the, my husband's words kept ringing back in my head because he'd always, when I was pregnant, he'd always be like telling me about how proud he is of me and how strong I am and how much of a warrior I am and things like that. Even though at a point I knew he was just making me feel good, but it actually, you know, helped. So I just have this um, some words for them that you're doing an amazing job you are so strong you you've done an amazing thing by bringing life into this world don't bother too much on the little things like the weight that you've gained or um, how your body is looking it's it's very normal you're going to snap right back and even if you don't just love your new body as you have it and care for your baby care for yourself that's the most important thing your mental health is very very important don't let anything um, come above that take care of yourself take care of your husband know that you are loved and appreciated you are amazing you are a superwoman just like my shirt says every woman is a superwoman this shirt is from the beam shop and it's from the um Angloga junction collection the words are from stoneboy song everlasting that says every woman is a superwoman every woman is a champion and that's exactly what you are to so every mother i wish you a very happy special and happy um mother's day you are amazing and to our potential mothers and our, to our expectant mothers and to women who are believing god um for babies and believing god um to bless them with the fruit of the womb and believing god with you um it's going to happen no matter how long it takes it's going to happen you're going to hear the cry of a baby you're going to be a mother and all of your your time shedding tears will be over i just want to also take this time to encourage you and let you know that you are also loved and we think about you we pray for you and you're so strong happy mother's day to all mothers we love you i love you and i appreciate you thank you ghana web bye follow me on instagram at Dr. Luisa underscore S. That's D R L O U I S A underscore S um, on Instagram and on Twitter. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Luisa, on YouTube. 
and let's um, keep in touch.